and just like take the blockade off, seriously. Well, as you said, the Palestinians are in control of the Gaza Strip, and there have been instances where aid was sent, and then the people in charge of the Gaza Strip would then take the aid and then sell it to the people. But if there's all these problems with food and cement and aid, whose fault is it? Is it the people? Isn't it the people who are in charge of Gaza for not giving the civilians aid? Because I'm sure you know the militants they have plenty of food. Okay, um, pretty much. Um, so Israel's blockading. So what aid they get in? Like people are people are greedy by nature. Well, not. Yeah, I guess we could call them greedy by nature, pretty much. So they're going to try to make money. They're going to be profiteers. The food possibly got into the wrong hands. Maybe the government's corrupt. In fact, I'm pretty sure right now Gaza does not have a government. It's just people running around with guns, shooting uh, people. So really, you can't say that the government is doing this, because there is none. Um, the militants are extorting the Palestinian people to probably be able to fund themselves. Um, so, yeah. All right, one more question. If I can help you out, yeah, yeah, there is a not government in Palestine, <laughs> um, Palestinian Authority, which has very close well, yeah, but it's not like with Hamas. It's not an official yeah. government, right? Because the official government is Israel. Um, but to the point of a blockade which harms civilians, that's actually a violation of the Geneva Conventions, um, and it's something that. I mean, countries lose wars they've been made to pay for as a human rights violation. Can I just sort of say, like, why I picked it? Because, like, um, pretty much because, like, it's really inhumane. I mean, the Israelis make the civilians, like, in instances, um, use them as body shields, which is a violation. They make them run into, like, suspected buildings. Um, they shoot whoever they want to shoot. In fact, there have been like cases where the soldiers themselves have reported that um, the people that, uh, like the generals and stuff, tell them it's okay who you shoot, just make sure.